problem. Maybe you have this problem. I didn't know how to make pumpkin pie pancakes. Hey friend, welcome to Chrysalis Chats. Your one stop for seven day a week. That's every single day. Vegan inspiration and how to's. My name is Tanya and like a caterpillar to a butterfly, I help people metamorphosize their diets and lifestyles to be plant based. Today in three minutes or under, we're talking about how to use more, you guessed it, pumpkin pie spice in your diet this autumn and holiday season. Let's get into it. The next thing I recommend for today is that you use pumpkin pie spice in and on pumpkin pie pancakes. And yes, I'm naming them pumpkin pie pancakes, not pumpkin pancakes, because they're that darn good. You can get this recipe that I modified from the Minimalist Baker's recipe at my website, chrysalisandcocoon.com, which is of course linked in the description box down below. Be sure to click and check that out. And with that said, you're gonna see step-by-step step in this video how you go about making that because I took the time to film it for you when I was making my own. The first thing you're gonna do with this recipe is add some lemon juice to your almond milk, coconut milk, whatever, and let it kind of curdle. This is mimicking buttermilk for those of you who are transitioning off of an animal diet. Then you'll add your sugar, maple syrup, vanilla, and pumpkin puree, which is either from a fresh pumpkin like this, or from a canned pumpkin puree that you already have available, okay? Well, you can see the recipe at my website, linked in the description box down below. You're gonna mix all that up into a lovely pumpkin puree looking mixture that has all of your just good stuff for the pancakes to be really moist and really flavorful. And then at that point in time, you're gonna add all your dry ingredients to that mixture. That's your flour, your baking powder, your soda, your salt, and of course, your spices, including pumpkin pie spice. This recipe also calls for a little more cinnamon. Um, you can do that if you want. Follow my recipe at my website, or you can just substitute that for more pumpkin pie spice. If you know that you really like that nutmeg clove flavor and that it's not gonna turn you off from enjoying that process, okay? So with that said, this has been your daily vegan inspiration for the autumn season in three minutes or under. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for commenting down below, letting us know what you enjoyed about it or how you intend on using pumpkin pie spice in your diet this autumn. And thank you for subscribing to Chrysalis Chats. With that said, friend, whether you're just starting off as a tiny little caterpillar, like where are the leaves at? Or you're a full-fledged butterfly sipping the nectar of a plant-based diet, you, my friend, are awesome. Have a blessed day.